Hi guys, it's Leah and welcome back to another episode of Comfy Craft. Not so comfy craft after all, but anyways. First of all, I'd like to wish everyone a happy new year and if you guys want to share any goals or resolutions you've had last year or even this upcoming year, do let me know down below because I love hearing what you guys, you know, have planned or what you have in mind. And um, I do want to say if I sound sick in this video, that's because I am. On another note, I actually have some sad news that only real Comfy Craft fans will notice, okay? Um, basically, I'll try to make this as short as possible, but on my last episode of Comfy Craft, which was five, that Christmas episode was actually supposed to be a special with some of my friends, but when I was filming it, the world just ended up crashing. I tried everything, I even asked friends to help, but nothing worked, and I just couldn't get the save file back because it was obviously corrupted, um, there was no way for me to launch it, whatever I did, I even put it on a server, and nothing worked. Because of that, I was super demotivated and, you know, I didn't want to have to cancel another single player series yet again, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna remake everything I did, and I did. So we're actually not in the original tent, we are in a new biome. And I'm gonna show you guys that in just a second. I decided that I still wanna do comfy craft, even if it means, you know, having to redo a lot of the stuff. And um, I had to put the current comfy craft into a server instead of a single player, just to avoid any issues like that in the future. And yeah, basically, we are in a new world in a different biome, unfortunately. I tried my best to, you know, try to replicate it as much as possible even the biome but this is the best biome i could find so i'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of everything and where it will all be but basically this is the comfy camp i decided to remake it not everything will be the same because obviously this is a new world um this is what it looks like i think it's actually a bit smaller than the real one but i don't really mind and then we're by a lake there's like a um a bridge over there and if we go up this way, this is actually where I'm gonna have my actual home instead. Um, I know I had plants last episode for the place I wanted, but we could probably try to replicate like a river around this. I'm not too sure yet. And then we just have a cute long river around here, which will lead to the lake over there. And here I actually decided to remake the farmhouse. So instead of having islands, I guess it's more like mountainy. And I'm a little bit sad that the dark forest isn't here, but it's okay. Basically, the farmhouse looks basically the same. I think it's just a bit smaller, but it's okay. And, you know, I decided to put sunflowers in there because um, this made us about to kill me. I'm gonna go in. Um, I try to replicate the sunflowers because obviously I couldn't find another sunflower biome but it's fine. This is what the inside looks like. A lot of these chests, well, actually, they're all empty, but, you know, I thought I would give that to myself, and I gave back my bed along with some of my, you know, what are they called? Like, tables? I don't know. Furnaces? Whatever. And then instead, when we go back out here, we're actually gonna meet the river, and oh my god, this fairy is after me. Yeah, I couldn't get everything to be the same, like this is supposed to be grass, but it's okay. I'm a little bit bummed out that there's no like dark forest near, but it's okay because we got mountains now, as well as the taiga. Um, okay, I'm gonna get out of this area first, but basically, okay, this was not on my last world, but this was actually just a generated thing, so I thought it was like a plus, and it actually gave me inspiration. Basically, my last episode, I did make pens for my animals, so I gave back my sheep pen, as well as my cow pen over this way, and I also gave back my chicken coop over here. Like I said, not everything will be the same, but you know, I did get back, you know, the stuff that I could remember. So I decided that, you know, I would have my animals that way, and my farmhouse this way. So they did give us pigs and a horse, which I'm really excited about, and even some crops. I obviously couldn't get the farm next to my farmhouse to look the same, but uh, this will do the job for now, and I really, really like it. Oh yeah, I also named my farmhouse Sunnybrook because obviously we don't actually have sunflowers around, just only near the farmhouse. Um, and I kind of wanted it to be like I'm growing sunflowers here at the farmhouse. So I thought that would be really cute, and I hope you guys like that name. Oh my god, there's another maid. Are you kidding me? Even in this new world, I just can't catch a break from these maids. Oh my goodness. I also gave myself an insurance package. Obviously, I had more than what it's showing here on my chest. 
but you know I just thought it would be stuff that would help me out um, I know for a fact I had more diamonds and more ingots and whatever but you know I just wanted to like make this basically not as hard for me as it would be completely starting all over again and I hope you guys are okay with that I hope you guys don't mind that I gave myself some of my items back obviously I already did the builds and um I wasn't even really sure about giving myself my items back but at the end of the day I actually spent hours like working on that and um, I basically just want to make things easier for myself to get you know what I had back as much as possible um, I, these are basically just starter items and then you know some of the minerals that I had um, yeah come out here you fairy oh my gosh okay I did not even realize I didn't have wood. <laughs> Good thing there's a few next to my house because we are going to make some tools. We are actually going to place my cake over here. Look how cute that looks. And just to get started, I think I'm going to make myself some armor so that, you know, we are at least a little bit safe. Yeah. And that is all the tools I'm going to make for now. Oh. This villager just came here and snatched my bed. Okay, I don't know who this villager is, but he's actually just been... I think he spawned near that barn, which is kind of funny, but... Um, I guess we'll keep him around. I also added the maid mod on my public Minecraft server, and I learned that they actually come in this soul spell. So, this is the first time I'm doing this in Comfycraft, but look. This is our maid! Yay, so, um... <laughs> I think I kind of just want you to stay here, Miss Girl. Um, wait, this just. Oh my god, I thought she killed the villager. Um, anyways, we can make her do a lot of stuff over here. We can make her harvest stuff and kill things. Um, for now, I'm just gonna let her walk around, but we can change her appearance. My my maid's name is Medicine apparently, but um, I'm gonna hide her for now because they do die pretty quickly from what I've seen so we're just gonna hide her until we have the materials to revive her I also got some glaze scan from my insurance package um if you know what that is you are a real one because I love Stardew Valley <laughs> okay so now that we're all geared up I'm actually gonna explore our surrounding and probably go mining Ooh, oh my god there's a fairy right here I actually need to kill these die a witch? Hey! Oh, chicken, are you good? Okay. <gasps> Ooh! We got a mysterious letter. Okay, let's read this. Greetings, prospective student. We have received your application to the Correspondence College of Witchcraft. Our institution carefully curates mystical knowledge and dispenses it only to those who prove themselves worthy. You have requested the Basic Arcana, a beginner's guide, to the mystic arts. These books are invaluable to any magician, no matter how advanced in their practice. We do not dispense them lightly. You will need to prove your dedication to learning the mystic arts. And close with this letter is a task you must complete to receive the basic arcana. We wish you the best of luck. Knowledge beyond measure is our greatest treasure. His, what does that say? I can't read that. Anyways, um, oh, I did get a quest note interesting okay since we just started all over again i'm gonna ignore that for now but we are definitely going to do this quest oh my god i was mining for like three minutes straight and this is all the stuff i got from that anyways there was also another thing i wanted to check out i think this is kind of like another portal um there's bone blocks so I guess we could use this for our portal what's that noise oh my god the phantoms oh god wait wait I think it's just is there a chest somewhere hello okay I'm gonna go sleep because I'm scared of phantoms get off my bed oh my god should we do it I just got a lot of uh, uh, coal so I guess we can do it yeah oh my god i love this villager oh look at those phantoms oh, look at the rainbow sheep i kind of want to keep it um near my farm other bricks okay we're just gonna go all the way up yes Ooh, 
a chance kill, fire charge, a wicked Chris. Okay, I'm gonna take all of that. Ooh, it's an egg, cute. Ooh, there's actually a sunflower plane right here. It's just a tiny one, but it's cute. And if we keep going this way, we kind of reach like an ocean. So basically the plan for this area is just to, you know, build it up and obviously I will be making a town, but I do want to do more bigger builds and you know kind of make like animal sanctuaries and just really really expand and not just like you know focus on surviving but also um utilizing the mods that we have and i actually see something here this is it's like a crystal i think i actually came across this my last corrupted episode um but it's gonna have different loot so i'm gonna go and check it out so this is like a bear head i'm actually gonna go and take that i'm also gonna take these beehives oh my goodness i just got here and i already have so much stuff okay oh my god we got a golden silk touch we got more diamonds and more chance cubes anyways i shall come back for the rest later what is this even oh i think it's plants from the mushroom quest mod which i really really when I get into this series. I have always added this to my mod because it's always like, it looks interesting to me, but I just never actually get into it. So I will freaking keep my word this time and get into that mod. Before I go, I do have one more thing I wanted to do. And that is to bring this rainbow sheep to my farm. Come in, come in. Oh, I just realized we actually got this map, which I kind of want to make down the line. So let's do this. Okay, so we are like at the edge of the map here. Perfect, so now we're gonna go and put that here. Anyway, that will be it for today's episode of Comfy Craft. I really hope you guys are enjoying this and I hope that you guys also don't mind the changes. We made a new friend here today. If you guys want to name him, let me know what we should name this farmer. He's just gonna be around a farmhouse as you guys could see. And yeah, I hope you guys love Sunnybrook Farmhouse, though it's a little different. Just wanted to familiarize you guys with the world, but hopefully next episode we are a bit more productive. Um, there's a few things I need to work on, like mining off camera, and also hopefully find a place to open chance cubes. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!